everything we've done together, we do it as brothers. And that's what people don't realize when I'm at camps and they're like, oh, you have any brothers? I'm like, yeah, I have a brother. His name's Jane Cox. They're like, no, you don't. I'm like, yeah, that's my brother. <laughs> and like, we'd talk everything about like, we try to convince them and everything to show that we're brothers. Jaden and Jaden, training partners, Mizzou teammates, and two of the most dominant wrestlers in the history of the state of Missouri. Close as can be, don't tell them they're not brothers. One thing I remember, I remember we did a story, they said, don't call them friends, call us brothers, and that's what we are, you know? I got, I got blood brothers, you know, but he's about as close as you can get without with being born from a different mom that you can get to being, my, being a brother to somebody. Wrestling brought the two Jadens together a decade ago, and they've been inseparable ever since. When Cox needed someone to spar against in preparation for the biggest moment of his life, who else would he turn to? In the off season last year, when I was an incoming freshman, he came up to me and was like, I'm gonna make the Olympics. I'm doing it. You know, I'm telling them I'm dropping down to 86. You're my workout partner and we're doing it all together. It's time to make this a reality. At first glance, Cox couldn't have chosen a worse matchup to train for Rio. Ironman gives up nearly 60 pounds to Cox. But you're not thinking like Jaden. The size difference is by design. People think I'm crazy, I'm like he's 133 pounds, and I'm like, but he knows how to wrestle, you know, that's the thing. You know, so what if he's small, he knows how to wrestle. It's really a challenge because I push him to not use strength on me and just use technique and mind-wise mentality, speed, all that. So like you'll see us dancing like we did before, that's how our practices are. It's just not like brute strength he's gonna use on me because that's not getting better for him. It forces me to forget about muscle. It forces me to forget about, all right, well obviously I can out-muscle this guy. It makes me have to focus more on setting up. It makes me have to focus more on quickness and working on my speed and agility. Jaden makes me have to create things. He's able to give me a look that I would probably might see somewhere else. It was something I've never seen, never seen before, but something I should be prepared for. And then you know, and that's a that's a big help too. They're training together with Olympic glory in mind, not just for Cox, not just this summer. That's my goal is to the Olympics. I wanted to this year, but. No, I wanted to focus on winning a national title. Watching the Olympic trials with him and seeing how good these guys are, it, it just drives me more. So going into 2020, it's going to be me and him. I, I bet you that. <laughs> Gold medals, national championships, these are the goals. But the thing that fuels them is so much bigger than wins on the map. It's love. You know, our love is what drives us to get better. We want to do this for each other, not just for ourselves. I mean, that's a big drive, but to, to do it for each other is what makes it unbelievable. It's because we're willing to do whatever it takes to achieve those goals.